So guys, today we're gonna to be talking about why I think the one tool option is still very applicable and very awesome. And before we get started looking at this knife and showing you guys some of the awesome things about this knife and why I still really like the one tool option, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to Will's channel if you haven't already. And in the comment section below, there will be a link to subscribe or to go over to my channel so you can subscribe to it if you guys wanna see more awesome Alaska based content anyways guys now let's get this started so like I mentioned today we're gonna be going over the one tool option and I'm gonna be rolling in some footage while kind of explaining why I like the one tool option or still believe in its applicability now for a long time as a bushcrafter which I've been bushcrafting for five years so for a significant amount of that time for around four years of my bushcrafting I really didn't I never really got into the one tool option and for the most part I still am not a huge proponent of the one tool option but there are a handful of knives this one which is the buck thug for those who don't know is the buck thug but for there are a handful of options or knives out there that are or lend themselves to the capacity of a one tool option uh, inexperienced hands as of course with any any knife out there you know I can go out there and make a really awesome bushcrafting knife look completely horrible if I don't know what I'm doing with it or if I just really don't know what bushcrafting tasks are or how to accomplish them so I can make some of the worst knives look amazing for bushcraft because as well if you are super experienced you can make pretty much all knives look good but there are definitely some bigger knives that lend to being a one tool option more than others. And the reason why I picked the Thug for this and the reason why I think the Thug helps with the one tool option so much is largely due to how it was designed and I think really back to the designer which was Ron Hood. For those who don't know that was an awesome survivalist now unfortunately deceased but still a really awesome survivalist and he had played a very large role in making the thug what it is and this knife of course is big it's 13 inches long and so it has a very very long blade but this blade is broken up into several pieces and that is that it has a very nice uh, area that you can a very nice back area or close to the edge where you can choke up very closely and do a lot of fine work such as feather sticking right on this edge and like I said you can see that I can get right on top of that edge then next to that it's been swelled out a lot like a kukri to have a very nice belly that protrudes from the main cutting edge significantly and this allows that when you strike it helps the strike um, with better impact and overall helps chopping uh, a lot better because this knife is pretty lightweight it is not the best chopper but with its design it actually is a rather remarkable chopper and then lastly it also has a very thin tip as you guys can see hopefully <laughs> maybe I need to like back it up here but hopefully you guys can see this thing has a very very thin tip it's also a full flat grind and that helps it with very fine tasks i have made netting needles with this knife in the past and if you guys know what those are uh, they require a lot of very fine delicate tip work but at the same time your tip does have to still be strong so this knife does have that as well because it's 5160 spring steel so you can literally as the er, so you can legitimately, as I think you guys can see here, and as I'm rolling in footage throughout this video, see that you can really beat on this knife and really just overall take this knife to town. And uh, it really works well. And that 5160 makes it very rigid and yet still springy enough to not break. And uh, that's something that you can see a lot with this knife because at times, or up around here, it does get rather thin. So those are the primary reasons I think that this knife in particular lends itself so well to the um, 
one tool option. Another thing I will say is the ergonomics are very well done on this. It has around six inches of blade or handle, sorry, handle length from tip to tip. And that is actually quite a bit, but it's done on purpose. You guys can see this little swell here. This is pretty much where you hold, if not with three fingers, to do a lot of chopping is pretty much past this own nub and then when you just want to do general purpose work you hold it like this and of course when you want to do fine tasks you pretty much hold it like this or like this and that allows you to get really close to the edge in addition to all of this also has a nice generously sized lanyard hole and while I personally don't find myself needing it if you did need a catch lanyard or a lanyard that while you use chopping uh, so the knife didn't fall out of your hands you can also easily put that on this knife too which is a nice accommodation so those are the primary features of this knife that make it really versed for one, the one tool option as far as the legitimacy of a one tool option goes there are definitely there are some definite times when a one tool option is a very nice thing to have i think a lot of times when you want to just straight go out and see how skilled you are the one tool option is one of the greatest proof positives of that because taking a knife like this and starting fires with it uh, feather sticking making netting needles making traps you know doing a whole bunch of different uh, things or different objectives with this knife just one singular tool is a great way not so much to show off your skill but to really put it to the test to really hold yourself accountable for how good you actually are so I think that is one of the biggest upsides to one tool options and having a tool that is well versed in one tool options another reason why you might choose it is simply for if you do choose to do other things in bushcraft having a really nice one tool option for things like hiking or just going out into different outdoor adventures where you may possibly be put into a survival situation being able to have a one tool that you know you're, you're confident and you're capable with doing a whole plethora of different things with it is a really nice tool to have and so it can hold a lot of truth especially in that and that is honestly where I carry a lot of my one tool option typed knives is when I'm doing things like hiking where I don't want to have a set of tools but if I am launched into a survival situation or if it's easy that I could possibly be faced with a survival situation that is when it's nice to have a tool that I know is very capable another thing I think about one tool options it's always nice to see with them is it shows a lot of the designer skills because one cannot simply just go out and design a knife that's good or a larger knife like this that's good at a bunch of different things from baton work once again to feather sticking or doing very fine tasks like making uh, notches for setting snares traps or a whole bunch of different things and it, it takes a good knife designer to make a knife that is capable of multiple different tasks from things that are very large to do like large batoning and chopping to very fine and delicate things like processing game animals processing natural materials and you know notch making so it definitely also shows a good knife design slash knife maker in that way Anyways guys, that's pretty much the reasons why I think the one tool option is still a really awesome thing and I know a lot of people are just like, oh it's speculative and it's trash and it's just don't even bother with it, it's just a marketing ploy and to certain people and if you try and sell your knife or market your knife as a one tool option, I think you might be trying to market it as a wrong thing. I know the Buck Thug was never ever marketed as a one tool option. I just picked it up and found that it was very good for doing a whole bunch of tasks. So this knife kind of became a one tool option for me in particular. And I think if many other people tried, it would be for them too. But this knife was never marketed as that. I just find that that type of drill and philosophy still is very applicable and is still something that so long as you're skilled bushcrafter and survivalist, the one tool option is definitely an awesome thing to continue to test yourself and your skills and also see just what knives are made of anyways guys that's pretty much all i have for now and guys that's all for now and i'm out